movieweb.com. After 2,000 years, a mystery lost to time is about to be unearthed. It's the tomb of the Dragon Emperor and his army. And a legendary evil will be awoken. In this movie, you say that whenever you get in a scrap and you say, I've been in worse scraps than this, yeah. this is going to be the scrap. So was this the worst scrap you've ever been in? I mean, was this the most physically taxing action scene you've ever filmed? If I think about it, they all. every time you make one of these action movies, you always think, this, this is the scrape that I want to try and get out of or survive, because these pictures are all about burning calories. They are. <laughs> they are. You would go to a desert and you gotta run around, charge around the sand and drenching yourself. Then we went to China, same thing, working in environments with, um, that are just, you know, not volatile, but they're obstacle courses, basically. And buying into it and giving each and every take everything you've got. Because you only need to get it right once. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and if you blow it, well, dang, then you gotta go again. Maybe you don't want to go again. So if you're going to do it, do it right the first time. <laughs> it's, yeah. my, it's, my, it's my personal um, working practice. You can die slow or you can die fast. <laughs> So now, the Yeti was one of the audience's favorite, and you were just telling me you know how, you remember the line to scream for the Yeti. Can you do that for me right now? Because that right. is. Gucci Shoda, Nanjuro Pakwaya. This is my line. <laughs> come on, come on, help, help. Now, what did you guys think when you first saw the Yetis in the actual film, as opposed to like acting against the tennis ball? I, I was intimidated. <laughs> uh, wow, well, it was really hard. But we got lots of fun, actually. Huh? Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it, it, the, yetis, <laughs> the yetis were, you know, that that was the part everyone was seemed to be very excited by. You know, Rob was extremely excited by. You know, we got Yeti in this yeah. movie. You know, and I'm like <laughs> going right. I got to go and look up Yeti. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's an abominable, abominable snowman. I was gonna say they don't have a Yeti type creature in Australia. It's, well. But apart from me and the Tasmanian devil, no. <laughs> there's no there's no Yeti in my country. Now with the Yeti, was, were they actually part of ancient Chinese history? Or was that something you wanted to bring into this? Well, the Yeti are an integral part of the history and culture and mythology of Tibet. So the idea of bringing them to the screen and making them good guys was very exciting for me to, to, to really take that aspect of the Himalayan mythology and bring it to life. You fight Michelle and Brendan in this movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which was the tougher opponent? Uh, tougher? And uh... <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because it, he's a man, he's a, very serious, very strong, you know, prepared, well prepared to go to the site. <laughs> Is uh, because she's easier because uh, we know each other a few couple days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not so, long. Not long, but uh, we know each other well. We find we know, you know, how to handle it. What was it like to just meet and then have to be like mortal enemies? Well, we didn't start off being mortal enemies in the movie, you know, because he was our emperor, and so we had great respect and deference for him. And I was trying to follow his uh, what his whims and fancies, and then you discover that he maybe he's not such a nice guy after all. <laughs> now, did you do something offset to kind of tweak him to kind of get him worked up? No, I didn't do anything. I didn't have to. 
he was already all worked out. <laughs> he was already mad at you. What did you do to him to get him so mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to love someone, then someone betrays you, and then you hate her. Betray oh, no, you? No, no, no. What did you do? Because to I don't know why. Service I'm okay. You need to listen to me. Go yeah, exactly. marry me. Then okay. He didn't get so his way, him. basically. Yeah. <laughs> I just found out that you are gonna have your middle name legally changed to Ass Kicker after this film. Is that <laughs> a true? It is. Maria Ass Kicker Bello. <laughs> I heard this is a role you dreamed of your whole life to yeah. have. I mean, even doing this press junket, it's usually hard for me to do junkets. Don't like to talk about myself so much. I get real bored saying the same thing all day. I am so excited to talk about this movie because it has been a childhood dream and I am living in such gratitude. From when I was seven years old reading romance novels about the woman sneaking on the pirate ship being a great swords fighter, I wanted to do this. And people would ask me throughout the years, I've been known as this dramatic actress, and they'd say, what role do you want to do? Expecting I'd say Medea, and I always said, I want to be an action star. <laughs> and it was a month before my 40th birthday, and I finally gave up. I thought, there's no roles for a 40-year-old action hero. And two weeks later, Rob Cohen called me. I want to know, am I reading this the right way that the original Evie is like in the books and you're the real Evie? That's right. That's right. The original Evie, I was writing about uh, a beautiful, gorgeous ingenue that I wanted to be. <laughs> and now the real Evie is me and I'm a novelist. And yes, I've had these adventures, but now, 20 years later, a lot of people say this when they've been married for 20 years, eh, there's ups and downs, sometimes you get real bored. And that's what we are in a relationship, and we really need that shock of adventure to get our passion back. Well, I kind of like that that was how you guys worked it into be you being in the film. I thought that was pretty neat I did way too. to transition that. I wonder if people get that. Do you think? I think so, because I got it, but I wasn't sure if that's exactly where you guys were going with that notion. Because yeah. it's a little bit, like, subtle. I guess yeah. is what it would be. people to go to your movie. People are going to see this. What are you talking about? I hope so. You never know. I mean, I feel like if, if, uh, if I don't, if, I mean, I'm honest. If, if I loved what I saw, and if, I, if I'm kind of ho hum about it, I'll, I'll be happy to talk about other things. But no, I don't think there's, a, there's, there's not a, like, a, like a weak link in the chain of this movie. It's great fun. Come see this picture if you can. We're in China. We're in the Himalayas. We've got action sequences that are awesome. Uh, Rob Cohen directed it. He knows how to move set pieces. So these are the good undead guys, right? This summer. I tell you to fasten your seatbelts, but it was too cheap to buy any. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing? Beyond death. Beyond imagination. Lies an adventure that will live oh for all eternity. Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor.